Greetings and welcome to a Chow Nath Battle Report. So today I'm with Charles. Hello. So we're using, I'm using the Pathfinders. Charles is using the Initiate, well, Noviates. No, Noviciates. Noviciates, yeah. Noviciates. So we are playing Loot and Salvage. Unfortunately, they're unpainted, but this is done, recorded on launch day. So I literally had to build them all. But when they show up again, they will be painted. And this is showing off Chow Nath terrain. So I'll talk through the board now. So everything's heavy. So this is heavy punishing vantage point, um, and scalable. scalable with two doors and two hatches. Same thing over there for that point and the same thing over there. Everything else is heavy because that's how it works in Chow Naf. So it's going to be an interesting game in terms of, I've never played with all heavy before. So Charles picked to be the defender. So he set up all his guys with conceal. I'll let you talk through your kill team now. Uh, so we've got, uh, for the kill team, we've got the Sister Superior, who's got a plasma pistol and a power sword. Uh, we've got the Duelist. The, uh, these names are going to be absolutely terrible to remember all the time. Um, so we have a Sister Superior. Uh, we have a Duelist. We have a Penitent over here with the Eviscerator. Uh, we don't have any Purgatus, who are the Flamer ones. We have the Pronotus, who is with the Chalice. Uh, we have... A ex uh, exactor uh, with the whips, uh, reliquus who's got the banner. Uh, we've got our hospitalia who is behind the building. Uh, we then have a preceptor who is the mace, the dialogus, and a condemner. So most of the uh, choices, barring the pagatus. Yeah, because you sadly can't build everything in the box. Yeah, there's you if you want to build all the models, you're gonna need to get. Two lots of Chow Nath or find the sisters or if when they release the sisters separately. But for equipment, uh, on the Pronatus and the the Exactor, I gave them the equipment where on a six when they uh, when they activate they get a they can get an extra APL, which is the Chaplet Ex Ecclesiastus. And on the three combat ones, so the Eviscerator, the Duelist, and the one with the mace, I gave them the Sainted Reliquies. Which is each time they strike in uh, strike with a critical hit, you gain a faith point. Um, and with the ability to spend faith points to get critical hits, you kind of can start refunding your points. Cool. And as for me, I've basically gone with all the specialists. So I have all the specialists you can take, and I have a recon drone drone over there. And I've got because of the drone controller, I've deployed my gun drone with a scout conceal order over there. So I've got everything. Everything is pretty much engaged, apart from my drone controller, the blooded Pathfinder who fires silent. And yeah, that's pretty much it equipment-wise. So I've given my Medic a fusion grenade. I've given my comms guy, and I've given my drone controller the enhanced marker light. So when they mark light someone, it's two tokens instead of one. And then I've given my marksman the enhanced targeting optics. So when he shoots at something, he counts the marker light tokens as plus one. And that's pretty much it. So now we just do scouting. So the yes. first, what is it? One is fortify, two is infiltrate, infiltrate. And three is recon. Three and is recon. Because you have the recon drone, after your choice, you also gain a free recon action. Yep. Um, so then, yeah, we go ahead. So three, two, one. Uh, two. Yep. So I've chosen Infiltrate, John has chosen uh, uh, Recon. Yeah. So John gets to make two dashes. Uh, so you get to make your two, well, your first dash and then your second dash for the Recon Drone special rule. Yeah, because I'm going to pick Infiltration there to switch orders, but it doesn't matter. I, I don't really mind not going first. So for my first dash, I will use my dash to get onto the point. And then for my next one... Who do I want to dash up next? He can technically go up there for no point. Uh, yeah, he could with his fly because you ignore the vertical distance with fly. Yeah, because you're on your three inch, so you can actually get like right up onto there. It won't really help you though because all of this uh, heavy terrain mm -hmm. is obscuring. I'll dash my scrambler guy with my second dash next to the wall, I guess. There we go. And uh, you get to decide who goes first, me or you. Uh, I will take the initiative. All right, so we go into 
strategy phase. Strategy phase. Uh, any strategic choice from me? Uh, again, this game's going to be slightly slower because it's brand new kill teams. First time using them. Yeah, I'm not going to do any uh, strategic ploys. Um, so I'm passing strategic ploys. John, have you got any strategic ploys to do? No, I think I'm going to save my CP because I'm. I probably won't get any shots to pull off like bonded, and <sighs> recon sweep is nice. Uh, I I don't need to do anything. Yeah, just, I think yeah. I think these two tilt kill teams maybe can be a little bit more CP, less less CP intensive on their first turn compared to other kill teams. Yeah, I'm not going to do any strategic deploy. So reveal tac ops. Have you got any uh, tac ops to reveal? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to reveal uh, protect assets from security. So if I incapacitate two people who are within two inches of an objective marker, I score a, a VP. I'm going to reveal triangulate because I'm recon. So triangulate, so it's scan the board edges. So I have to reveal my other one in the first turn. So I'm revealing faction tac op 2, which for the uh, noviates is uh, reconsecrate ground. Reveal this tack up in the target reveal step at the first turning point. Select one objective marker that is not within red of your drop zone. Uh, so uh, it has to be any of the ones that are over nine, which means it has to be one of the ones on the other side of the board. Uh, and at the end of any turning point, if a friendly operative controls the marker, I score a VP. And if I do that on another turn, I score it again. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick the objective marker that's on this side of the board to be the reconsecrated one. Yep. So I need to have somebody on it on any turning point, score one, and another turning point, score a second one. Control it, right? Not just on it. Just con yeah, control. So I have to have more APL on the marker than the opponent. I'm also going to reveal faction tack up one for me, which is mark enemy movements. So you can reveal this in a reveal step. At the end of the turning point, if at least half of the enemy operatives in the kill zone, rounding down if they have a minimum of three. Oh no, rounding down and a minimum of three. And if I do it again, I get another VP. So super hard. Yeah. So I have a... Uh... I am revealed. Uh, my revealed ones I can reveal. Uh, you've revealed. Uh, you got any more to reveal, John? Or are you? Uh... Have I? That's a good question. Um, no, I think I am good for now. Right. So. Um, so immediately at the start of the turning point, I'm going to use one of my strategic ploys. So I'm going to go down uh, from three to two. Tactical ploys. Tactical ploys. Sorry. So I'm going to go down from three to two. So I am going to. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Uh, is it a worthy cause? So a worthy yeah. cause. So use this tactical ploy at the start of the firefight phase. Select one readily, ready friendly pathfinder operative excluding a drone that was in blue of any enemy operatives or within white of the center of an objective marker and activate it. Once that has completed an activation, the player whose initiative operates as normal. So because I've scouted my uh, drone controller onto the objective just there, I'm going to activate him first before the initiative. So for his first action point, he's going to mark light someone. So I'll just use glass beads. He has the high intensity mark light. So if you mark light someone, they get two. You can see everyone. Oh, you can actually only see. Uh, I will give two mark light tokens to. Do you want to give it to your leader? Because uh, the the way the mark lights uh, work in this version of the kill team, rather than the normal tower team, is they're a stacking table that goes up to five. You can put more mark lights on, but there's no benefit above five. But at the start of the turn, when you ready all your operatives, you also remove one mark light token. So you don't remove them all. If they have more than one token, you they still retain a, a number of them per turn. So I'm going to put two on your leader. Yep. So she would at least still have one next turn. So. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that happens here. Then he will use drone control. So I'll activate my gun drone with the conceal order. It has two AP, so it can now act as normal effectively, because normally well, it can't do mission His actions. drone control action specifies that it ignores the first three bullet points, and in the first three bullet points is it can't uh, can't uh, re recover dice from cover. Uh, it costs an extra AP to do mission actions, and it can't do pickup actions. No, you can't retain dice if you're on a, if you're engaged, only if yeah. you're concealed. Oh, yeah. But so also, he, it lets him do it while... So he is effectively going to just move up to objective six can actually perform the mission action. And it will do the mission action to claim it for one VP. So I've activated two guys. I'm now on one victory point. And before, the way I've Before done you it, finish, uh, is that where you're leaving the model? He's so, not behind terrain. So he's not he's not in cover, so he's not concealed. He is within... Okay, so he's within an inch of the terrain. Okay. So he's within an inch of the barricade, so he's got defense, but he can't be charged. 
No, that's fine. Your turn. Your your first activation. My, my first operative. Uh, yeah, let's let's see I'm how this uh, let's see how this works. So we're going to activate the um, the one with the condemner crossbow. Uh, she's actually called a condemner. Uh, so she's gonna first action is going to be to move. Um, her second action is she's going to be to shoot the drone because she's within an inch of the cover. So she ignores the cover for giving him cover. Uh, she also has her condemner. Crossbow has the silent rule, so she can shoot while engaged. While concealed. Uh, concealed, yeah. Everyone knows what I meant. Uh, so, the Condemned Stake Thrower is four dice on threes with two three damage. Uh, so, she's currently hit twice. Uh, so, I have, so, the sisters get three faith points every turn. They can be spent to do certain things. How many, how many wounds has the drone got? Is it ten? So I think the drones are relatively... Seven wins on the gun drone, four up save, three defense. Okay, so you got seven. Uh, so we're going to spend a command point to reroll one of my misses. It went to a crit. Um, so I take how many more Well, hang wounds? on, so I'm not, I'm not finished. Uh, so I'm currently on hit, hit, crits. Uh, and then what we'll do is we will spend a faith point to also reroll another dice. Uh, into a second crit. So two crits and two hits. The Condemner has Pierce 1 and Mortal Wounds 2. So retaining those will do four wounds. Oh, it's dead. Uh, and then it's four saves, which he's not going to be able to make. Because uh, the Condemner does uh, two slash three damage. So he's only got uh, three wounds left. Uh, so that's one faith point and one command point spent. OK. Uh, that's her two actions done, and she is done. All right, so me next. So I'll activate my comms guy. He'll use his high intensity marker light on your condemner. Yeah, so she'll get two marker light tokens. And then he will give plus one APL to my scrambler. And he's done, your turn. Uh, yeah, so we're going to activate the uh, superior. Uh, she's going to, as her first action, she's going to move up to the wall and be on the objective. Uh, she's then going to, on her second action, claim the objective for a victory point. Uh, and then she has a special rule called lead by example. Uh, so each time this option is activated, if it performs any mission actions or an enemy operative is incapacitated as a result of any actions, uh, I can select a ready, friendly noviate, uh, visible and within six inches, and then I can activate them next. Uh, so I can activate any of these. I'm going to activate the, uh, the lady with the chalice uh, automatically now. She has, uh, when she activates on a 6+, plus, she gets an extra APL. She doesn't. Um, and she's the one who wants to... She gives me extra faith points. So she is going to just also move up behind the wall. Move her token out of the way. Uh, so she's got 6 inches, so she's going to get up behind the wall and be in cover. Uh, and as long as she's within two inches of an objective or within uh, six of your opponent's drop zone, when she uses her personal action, she generates three faith points as there too. So she's going to do her her action to generate three additional faith points. So I'm now on five faith points. And over to you, John. So I'll activate my Grenadier. He's going to move... Just up a bit. Just there. Okay, so he's not he's not going for the point. And what's his second action? I'm gonna mark a light. I'll mark a light your sword mistress there. Yeah, the duelist. And I'm done. Right. Uh, so we're gonna activate the penitent, who's got the eviscerator. Well we'll do her anyway. Um, so the penitent eviscerator is gonna move and dash round onto the point. Uh, anything else? Oh, no, no, yeah, no you moved, moved yeah. and dashed. No. Just out of range of getting to the actual um, point. Ooh. I think I'm going to fusion grenade you. Yeah, so I want marker light you. Because let me just count how many marker lights. So I've done three. I've got one marker light, uh, two marker lights left, yeah. Cool. But, yeah. So I'll move up and throw my grenade, my fusion grenade. So I'll just move up. So I'm there, just within red. <clears throat> so there's four dice. 
um, I would still be obscured. You don't ignore obscuring though, do you? You only ignore cover because this wall will still obscure because that's heavy terrain. Oh, okay, just move there then. Um, yeah. Because yeah, if you'd move there, the I'm should be two inches from the heavy terrain, I think. So yeah, my fusion will go there. So my fusion grenade, let me just check the stats. So it's four dice, heating on freeze, uh, four slash three, AP two, limited, with mortal wound three on a crit. So four dice, heating on freeze. Two just hits. Two hits. I'll spend a command point to reroll one. Yep. Oh, well. Still misses. So just two hits. Two hits. So I've got three saves. Well, you've got one. Oh, it's AP two, is it? Yeah. Um, well, I might as well just automatically pass for being in cover. Yep, so you take four more uh, So I take four more, uh, no, four damage. Four damage, four damage, sorry. Yeah. Um, so my grenade gone. Kent has seven, so she has three wounds remaining. Your turn. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, well, that's one grenade out of the way. Oh, this is annoying. I'm just ever so slightly out of place to do certain things. Yeah. I'd move up, give her an AP, but then she just can't make it to that objective marker. Uh, we're just going to move up to the wall, uh, and then she's going to use her action, uh, the dialogue is action of stirring rhetoric uh, to pick her friendly sister within six, who's visible, and give them plus one APL. So she's going to give the condemner an extra APL. Oh, we can use my APL ones. Oh, uh, yeah. Like... yeah. Available at buythesametoken.com. Yeah. So I will activate, well, my gun drone. <laughs> my recon drone. Uh, recon yeah. drone, yep. So it's going to... Move. Yeah, so you're just not obscured. Yep. So it's going to fire six dice. Let me just check his profile. So it's four, six dice, hitting on fours, three slash four, with heavy and ceaseless. So rerolling one. Well, heavy means you can only move three inches and fire. Oh my heavy. gosh, yeah, you're right. So you can't do that. Um, oh. So you may want to you may want to rewind that. Ooh. Because even if with this three inch movement, it'll be blocked by the obscuring from that. Yeah, no, 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 that's fair. I will then. Let's go with activate my concealed dude. Your bloodied pathfinder. And then I'll give a marker token to her. Your yep. one who was activated. Yep. And I'm done. Okay. So we're just going to activate the uh, hospitalia. Uh, she's just going to move up to the wall here and pass as her second action. I will just move and dash the drone. Oh, if you give me the nine-inch stick. Okay. <clears throat> just move and dash. And with fly, it ignores the vertical. And that's that drone acted. If only I had some kind of long-range firepower. Killed that drone. Um... How many you've got? Two over this side to go, the marksman. I've got five guys left to activate. Yeah, but I'm seeing what was actually over yeah. here, so it's your two shooting ones. Uh, so we're just going to move the uh, Re Requelius, uh up to the wall here, and she's going to pass as her second action. I'm activating my Ion Cannon over there, Ion Rifle. He's going to triangulate for one AP, so I still need to do the other side there. And then he's just gonna move up to the wall. Yep, so triangulate and move. Yeah, so we're gonna activate the uh, Exactor. She's gonna use her first action on the um, relic, uh, the Requalius to give her plus one AP. Um, she has to be within blue and visible. Uh, if it was on the chains, uh, the chains of one, she'd also get an extra two inches of movement. Uh, you got another AP token. Uh, and then a second action is going to be to just move around. Okay, next I'll activate my Pathfinder. He's just going to move up to there and pop it. So I get another victory point. Uh, your turn? Uh, my turn. Um, uh, so she's going to do a move and a dash to get round here. Tucking up against the wall, so she's still getting cover from the wall. So I activate my leader. He will. So he's my leader. He'll mark a light. You weren't this indecisive playing the orcs. Oh, the orcs would be a different game. <laughs> uh, so the Pathfinder leader, he is going to mark a light. Your Grail Lady? Yep. 
that is now half of my model's mark lighted. Then you're just going to move to there. And he's done. Oh, yes, because you used the, the drone and the drone died. I was like, how have you still got more models to go than me? Uh, the I'm going to activate my last model, which is the Preceptor. Um, she is just going to use a move and a dash to get herself over to here. Are you activated? I'm all, yeah, I'm all done. Okay, cool. So my sniper will move over to here and claim it. Uh, you need to be slightly closer, but yeah. Just measure that. Yeah, make sure, make sure he's actually within six. Uh, yeah, you might have to go to the other side of it. Um, uh, in that case, he'll just move behind. Okay, so you move behind and not claim, or oh, and claim it. Yeah, so move behind, claim. So I'm on three. Yep. Three to two, it should be. Then I'll move. Uh, you didn't give me my second point for claiming the other one. So. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, no, so you claimed that one on that side. Sorry, yeah, yeah. it is. It is one. Sorry, I was, I was thinking, yeah, I claimed that. No, you did with the drone. So I'll move there for one. Yep. So still got two AP left. He'll claim for one. Yep. So there's one AP, AP left. And then you'll give your leader minus one APL, so your leader now has... Yeah, so you uh, jam. And, ooh, careful. Jam your leader. Let me change this to two. So you're on four to my one. Yep. So at the end of the turning point, I score one for my faction tack up one, because there's five of your operatives and five of them have mark light tokens. I have ten operatives and half of them have mark light tokens. Yep. Um, do you score any attack ops? Uh, no, because I don't score protect assets, and I need to be holding this one to score my other one. Okay, so then we roll off a priority for turn two. Yep. Well, let's activate everyone. So yeah, so ready everyone. Ready everyone, yep. Um, I remove one mark token from everybody. Okay, uh, so then we roll off for turning point two. Generate a CP. Uh, yep, so two. two and a six. I will take initiative. Uh, I generate a CP, I then generate uh, three um, three faith points. Just that, puts me, that, to the mic. that puts me on eight faith points now, because they persist through turns. Uh, so we go into strategic ploys. And yeah, so we're going to activate uh, Eyes of the... Oh no, sorry, so that won't be able to shoot. That one will be able to shoot. Do I want to do this? It's a bit expensive, but we're going to spend... 2 CP on uh, Defenders of the Faith. At the start of the firefight phase, one friendly Novia operator that is within circle of the center of each objective marker can either perform a free shoot action if it has engage. Oh, if it has engage. So I can't do that because even though she can shoot with her crossbow, because it's silent, she can't be shooting to have engage order. So I read that wrong, so I won't be doing that. We will spend one CP though for Eyes of the Emperor, which removes the range special rule from auto pistols, bolt pistols, and plasma pistols. So all of my guns, which are auto pistols and the plasma pistol, now have no range limitation. I am going to spend a command point. I'm going to spend a CP on Bonded. So as long as an operative is within uh, blue of another operative, uh, I can reroll a dice. So I'm down to one. Uh, I've got no more to spend. It's tack ops. Uh, so I am going to reveal that I also have hold the line. So keep them oh, six inches away from my deployment zone. I'm going to reveal overrun. So if I'm within uh, all quarters but more than blue from the center, I get a, come up, uh, get a victory point. All right, so. Uh, bold choice of tactical op there. So at the start, I will spend a CP, so I'm down to zero, and I'll activate someone. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, so I activate my lead, uh, my marksman. So he's going. What do you mean, your drone controller? Drone controller, sorry. Yeah. He's for one AP. He's going to double thingy. Uh, so he's going to use the high intensity mark light. On where's your medic? Uh, my medic is no. Uh, yes, that's the medic there. That's fine. So she's within range. Um, I'll do it. Yeah. So I'll. Put two on there. Put two on her, yep. Yeah. Then I'll immediately activate my drone. Yep. Who will just ironically dash and then shoot. Uh, he shouldn't be able to shoot her because she's in cover from heavy terrain. Not from there. Uh, she Cause... should be because the edge of the wall should be obscuring the side of her base. Because I can dash from there. 
Okay. I, I, I was sure that being right next to the wall would be obscuring the whole of my base. It's because I can overhang. Yeah. So, because I can claim from that point, I can even... I mean, don't go too far, otherwise... Oof. Otherwise you'll fall off and you can't actually do it. You can't, if you can't place yourself, you can't be there. Um, so yeah, he'll... Uh. It's now trying to blind me with the real marker lights. Yeah, so, okay. So yeah, you can... So two her. marker light tokens give me... Uh, you can reroll one dice, which you're and already... And you get no cover. And I get, no, I get the no cover rule, so I can't retain dice. Yeah. So six dice. Uh, with ceaseless, so you're re-rolling ones anyway, but you can re-roll one other miss. Yeah. So you're getting fours? I'm getting fours. Oh, that's so terrible. So you have one ceaseless re-roll and one re-roll from the marker light. So these two. A crit and a hit. Okay. So, so you get three four-up saves. Uh, yes, uh, and I can't auto-retain for the cover. So three. No cover anyway? That's what I mean. I can't yeah. auto-retain because of no cover. So three re-roll, three saves. I get two... Uh, what's the damage on it? Three slash four. Three slash four. Well, I'll block the crit and take three. Yep. So I have four runes remaining. That's really bad rolling. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, so done. that was your pre, yeah. pre-firefight done. Yeah. So, yeah. So what we will do is we will activate the Sister Superior first. Yep. Uh, stay concealed. She will spend one action to uh, claim the point. Yep. Which then triggers her special ability. So she's then going to activate the duelist. Yep. And the duelist is then going to charge, because that's she can get in range, because yep. she's seven away. So the duelist is going to charge your medic. Yep. Uh, sorry, she's going to switch to engage, because she's going to have to switch to engage. Oh, I was on a punishing vantage point. You're dead. Because I get to retain the dice as an automatic success. Uh, no, I, so I would. you would be injured, I'm afraid. Yeah, because I rolled... I would kind of retain an extra success because I'm on a punishing vantage point. This is this is these things are so bad. Um, uh, each time you just makes a shoot attack, command point, before rolling attack dice, that shooting attack. If the target is not in cover, the attack can retain one attack dice as successful. Oh, I so can... you have to retain it before you roll dice. Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Otherwise, so otherwise yes, yeah. but you should have yeah, yeah. yeah. Unlike cover saves and everything else, it's really weird because it's a new rule. That's fine. Um. Uh, so yeah, so the duelist is charging. She has four attacks on threes. I'm three attacks on five, two slash three. So I'm. Oh no, sorry, she's four attacks on twos. Sorry, with the dueling blades. The pistol is looking at uh, one more dice. Uh, so that was a... I've got two wow. crits. That's it. Two crits. Uh, so I score three hits and a crit. What's your? Uh, your two three damage, aren't you? Two three. Two three. Uh, you've got seven wounds. You will kill me. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just thinking, do I want to... No, I don't need to make an extra crit. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so my first attack will be to strike you with a crit, which also allows me to parry a dice. So no, it's will... reverse. You parry, then strike me. Oh, sorry, yeah. So I'm sorry. I will parry one of your crits. I'll do three damage also... and die. Uh, yeah, so it does four, and then I do three, three, and three. So you do three, so I'm down to one wound remaining. She's now out in the open, but she's done her job. Yeah, technically. Um, so he's activated. Well, I activate my guy. He's going to yep. claim one. Yep, from five. five. And then, because I can see her. Uh, from who? Oh, right. Sorry. Yep. I'm going to so give yeah, you, you minus she's, one APL. She's visible. Yep. So you're going to give my whip lady minus one APL. Uh, yeah. I mean, she has also got the uh, the equipment item that lets her get plus one on a six. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, no, just just making sure you want to say what's that's his that's his first action was claim, second action is to jam. Yep. He's jamming. Uh so yeah, we're gonna activate the condemner. Yep. Uh gonna stay concealed. Uh gonna move onto the point so I can claim it. Yep. Uh second action will be to claim the point. And because I have plus one AP, the third action will be to shoot. And we are going to shoot your iron rifle, because yep. it hasn't fired yet. Yep. Um, I also have, which I forgot, I have a tactical ploy, Righteous Condemnation. Uh, I can use it, I use it after rolling my dice for a shooting attack by the Condemner. I can re-roll all of my dice for that shooting, any or all of my dice. Yep. Uh, so I roll, uh, she hits on threes. I don't know, three, yeah, hits on threes. Uh, that is, uh, two hits. 
so we will spend a command point to activate that. Uh, I will re-roll these two dice into a hit and a miss. So we got three hits, uh, doesn't activate anything. So what we will do is spend uh, three faith points and I can turn one of my hit dice into a critical dice. Uh, so that will give it pierce one and mortal wounds two. So I've got five wounds left. I return a save. So five up. Just dead. So he takes uh, another five wounds, which is seven, and kills him. And that's my condemner done. Okay. So I activate my guy over here at the back, my comms. He's going to switch to conceal. He's going to give plus one APL to the grenadier. And he's going to give two Markonite tokens to your leader. Yep. Your turn. Uh, my turn. Uh, uh, so we're going to activate my uh, whip lady. Yep. Um, oh, well, when she's activated, uh, the equipment rolls off. On a six, she gains an extra APL. She nope. doesn't. Uh, so she's only going to have one AP for this action. So she's going to stay concealed. And she's just going to make a move action. And move up onto here. Actually, does she want to stay so you can shoot me? Uh, she'll, uh, she will switch to an engage action because if she somehow survives and somehow I get an overwatch shot, she does actually have a ranged attack. Uh, so she will actually switch to engage and she's done. So I activate my leader and perform, uh, I'll do a monk car. So everyone gets a free dash. Uh, so you're using his art of war ability for monk car. Uh, so when they activate, they can perform a free dash action. So he'll dash. I mm -hmm. uh, probably should have stayed on conceal. Yeah, just within free of... I think you are, but I mean, if you actually put it on the table, we can see. It's fine. He didn't. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. He's just within three. Okay. Uh, so then he will mark a light. Your whip lady. Yep. And he'll fire his mark a light. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean his, uh, his pulse carbine. Pulse carbine. Let me just check what else he can do before I roll dice. Oh wait. Uh, so he can use holographic readout. So he can also, once per battle, when a friendly Pathfinder object is activated... Oh, there it's, he... it's when another object yeah. is activated. So he's got four dice on... Hitting on twos, re-rolling uh, one because of Mark Light, and re-rolling another because of Bonded. Did he hit on twos? I thought he hit on threes. Hits on threes, sorry. So yeah. hits on threes, re-rolling one because of the Mark Light token, and re-rolling another because of Bonded. Yep. Oh my god. Wow, that's terrible. Uh, so he gets to re-roll two of those dice, though. So one hit so far. So three hits. Three hits. You're on cover. Uh, I am in cover, so I will automatically retain one save. And then uh, it's four ups. And then two more four up saves. Wow. I pass both, so I save all. Wow. Absolutely terrible dice rolling for me. That, um, yeah, you've, unfortunately, it's been... Done. Your turn. Yeah. Um, yes, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to activate our Reliquous. Uh, so she is going. She's got an extra AP. This action, she's going to stay concealed after making that mistake. Uh, she's going to move and dash onto the objective. Yep. And then she's going to use her extra AP to claim the objective. Yep. Uh, so that one is whoop, that one is down to one. That was on the middle. Okay. So then it's my turn to activate. I will activate activate my grenadier. Yep, so he's he got gets a free three, dash. Yeah, and he's got three AP. So. Do I have to perform the free dash immediately? No, so I just you just get a free dash in your activation. Well, oh, yeah, during the activation. Yeah, yeah, it's under, uh, if it has an engage order for that activation, it can perform a free dash, which I think all the ones you've done have had. Cool. So um, I will... So, yeah, you don't. You can use your normal move, John, first. You don't have to use your dash. Cool, so. yeah. So he's going to move yeah, up to, to be, here. To be within three inches, three inches of him. That's one APL, another APL to throw the grenade. Yeah. So he does get the bonded effect. Yeah. So it's going to do on your medic. Four dice, hitting on freeze, re-rolling one because of bonded. Uh, which grenade are you throwing? Fusion grenade. Fusion grenade. So he's got one left. Because he does have three different grenades. Oh, that's much better. Uh, so it's a crit and two hits. So you immediately take three mortal wounds. Uh, one, uh, oh, re-roll from the bonded. Right, yeah. Four, mid, four mortal wounds, so you've got seven wounds left. Got, uh, no, three wounds three left. Three wounds remaining. And um, AP2. Yeah, so, you're dead. so I can't save. Uh, the medic can't save himself because I'm pretty sure they've they've corrected the uh, the wording on them. No, it's uh, the same wording as the veteran guardsman, so it would apply. 
So, so are you saying I can save myself or I can't save myself? You can't because the yeah. FAQ specifically says right. I can't. But again, that's that's on the veteran guardsman. I was checking if they'd actually changed the wording, but they hadn't. But she so, dies. She dies. Which is so he's, okay. He's used two APL. He's got one APL left. He will mark like your leader, so she has four. Uh, yes. And then I will dash back with his free dash, and, and then kick him across the table. Uh, so we're going to activate uh, my Noviat Penitent. Yep. Uh, she's going to stay concealed. She's going to move around to the heavy cover. Yep. Uh, and activate the uh, point, yep. to score point. So the only one left to be activated is the one on your side of the board. Yes. So my Pathfinder is going to activate here. So he gets the ability to do a mission action for free. Yep. So you're going to use the once per game ability to do the mission action for free. But uh, there's no point because I've taken that objective. You see why? So I'm going to overcharge against your whip lady. Sure. Ignoring cover. So five dice, hitting on fours, re-rolling one dice because of marker lights, re-rolling another because of bonded. So hitting on fours with AP1. Let me double check. Uh, if you're overcharging, yes, you get AP1 with hot. Uh, if you don't overcharge, it just has pierce. Yeah, AP1 hot. Uh, so you're hitting on fours with one re-roll. Ooh, that's bad. So you might want to re-roll that one. Uh, so I get two rerolls. So I've got a crit so far. Three crits. Three crits. There we go. So I've got piercing one. You don't retain cover. So uh, you, you've got AP one. AP one. So, uh, uh, so two I get one. two saves. Yeah. Uh, so what I can do? Uh, how much damage do they do? Oh, they do six, don't they? They do five and six. Six each. Six each. She's dead. Because um, even if I, because I could turn that to a crit save, but I still take twelve wounds. So yeah, she'll she'll die. Cool. So I will immediately use my free dash to get within blue of the table edge, yeah. and then I will triangulate it for free is, because it's a mission action. Is it a mission action? Yeah. Because that's the old thing. Do they, do they say... Yeah, it is a mission action. Yeah. Cool. So I yeah. get one for my tack hop. Uh, your turn to activate. Uh, yes, my turn to activate. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to activate the... This is going to be terrible remembering the names. Yeah, Dialogus. Uh, she's going to spend one AP to give the Condemner plus one AP. Yep. Um, and then her second action... Oh, she's going to switch to engage. Might as well. Uh, her second action will be to shoot her auto pistol, which now has a limited range. Yep. Uh, at your Grenadier. Cool. Uh, so... Cool. The auto pistol is uh, four dice on threes, two three damage. I will take a hit and three a, a crit and three hits. Three five ups. Two, five uh, two ups. so two saves. So you take uh, five damage. Five damage. So I've got two wounds left. She's leaving herself slightly exposed now, but so I activate my rail rifle. He will claim the point for one. Uh, yeah. And then, so I add that now. And he'll shoot at your leader. So because uh, he's got enhanced AP thingy, so he gets counts as plus one. So uh, yes, so yeah, because he's got the enhanced. Uh, he, gets, he gets an extra mark light token, so it counts as five mark light tokens, which I then count having an engage order. Yep. I'm going to use my standard shot. So it's four dice, hitting on freeze, four slash four, AP one, lethal five up, mortal wounds two. Right. And I get one reroll. I'm hitting on twos, and I get another reroll because of bonded. So uh, you immediately take, because of lethal five up, so you yeah. take four mortal wounds immediately. Yep. So you've got eight wounds left. And then you've got, um, you don't get cover, so you've got two free up saves. Uh, yep. Uh, I've got four wounds left. Four wounds, yep. Uh, uh, so you got, hang on, you got two crits, two hits. Yep. Uh, what's the damage on? It's three, four, isn't it? Four, four. Four, four. Uh, so even if I save both of these, I'm dead. Yep. So... I did. <laughs> I save a crit and a hit, so I still take eight more wounds. So I've taken twelve in total, yep. which will kill me. Marker lights. Uh, your turn to activate. Uh, so who have I actually got left? How many have you got left to activate, John? One. One, one. One. Which is left. that guy over there? Uh, yeah. So we'll we'll activate our uh, Patronus the Grail Lady. She's gonna switch to an engage order. Yep. Um, she's going to. 
Um, use her relic to gain me three more faith points. Uh, and then she's going to shoot her auto pistol um, at your wounded um, grenadier. Yep. Uh, so we have a crit and two hits so far. Um, you'd have to make all three saves. I'll spend a faith point to reroll my miss into another hit. Dead. So he's dead. Uh, uh, that partially scores protect assets. I need to take out another person near an objective. Cool. Uh, I'll activate this guy. Okay. Uh, and uh, then you get to activate your lady. Yep. Um, she is just going to fall back behind here with a move and a dash. To stay concealed. So you're just moving back over there. Move and dash, yeah. Yep. Okay, end of the turning point. I don't score anything else. I don't get overround or anything else. So do you uh, score anything else? I score protect assets because... Um, no, you don't. You, you hold the line. Oh, sorry. Hold, yeah. I meant hold the line. It's all protect assets should be kind of... It sounds like hold the line. So I score hold the line. I don't get protect assets because I only killed one person who was in two of an objective marker. Uh, and uh, I do score my faction tack op. Oh, no, because I don't, because I'm not controlling it because you killed the other one. Yep. Um, Do you check to control at the end of the turning point or at any point? A or B is the end of the turning point. At the end of any turning point, if a friendly object okay. controls cool, a cool, 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 cool. score one. All right, so we're ready, everyone. Yeah. So I've only got... You've only got one mark like token on the board currently. Yes. So then we roll off for priority. Uh, yep. Finally, five, five. I tie, so, so I win. Yep, because you take it. second. So I immediately gain a command point, so I'm on one. Uh, I gain a command point. Uh, I gain three faith points, putting me back up to eight. Uh, I'm not going to play any strategic ployers, are you? Uh, we will spend one on Eyes of the Emperor, though, to give my pistols unlimited range. Oh, did you spend a command point or a faith point for your lady's reroll? The, yes. uh, um, the one who dashed and moved back. What do you mean for the reroll? Because did you reroll one of her saves? Oh no, but her ability. It's a, yes, yeah, her yeah, ability is yeah. not a faith point. Yeah, that's fine. I then used two faith points yeah, yeah, to turn her fine. into a crit save. Okay, so what what strategic point did you do? Uh, I'd done the one where my auto pistols have unlimited range. Cool, none for me to attack ops, nothing. Nothing to reveal. Uh, so your first operative. I will spend a CP to double activate. So I'll go down to zero again. Yep. Uh, so this time... Has to be one of your ones within circle of an objective marker. Activate the drone controller. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Why not to? So he will. Uh, well, no. The uh, she does. The, the everyone apart from the mace lady has, and the crossbow has an auto pistol. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not half of them don't have it modelled, but they do have auto pistols. I, originally, I looked at the strategy and went, "That's terrible." And then you actually realise even the duelist with two swords has. Who can give plus one APL? Uh, so she can give plus one APL, you killed my other one that gives plus one APL. So cool. it's, uh, the, uh, Dialogus over here. So I will activate my drone controller. Yep, with your CP, no, tactical ploy. Yes. So. What's his first action? He is going to... Oh, did you claim the point with him? If he goes to engage, I'm trying to see who else he can shoot at. So you can shoot at your lady there. Yeah, she's just in cover. And what I'll do is I'll stay concealed. Right. Uh, that point still should have a point on it then. Oh, I'm not taking it off. Sorry, I just moved the dice. Oh, right. You... I'm going to give two marker light tokens to your banner there. Yep. So you're using the marker light, and then your second action, I'm assuming, is to activate your recon drone. Yeah, so then my recon drone will dash up. To there. Yep. And she'll shoot your old lady. Yep. Six dice. Uh, I have no cover. And I reroll ones. And I reroll additional dice. Yeah, you reroll one dice and you reroll ones. Here on fours. Uh, okay, so, so, so I, first of all, you've got ceaseless, which you can do first, and then you can use your reroll on your three. Well, this sits on a four, so I'll reroll that. No, no, yeah, but the correct ordering is, John, you have ceaseless. I'm just doing them all You can roll them all together, but the. The sensible, the correct thing is to reroll one, do one wall, then the other wall. Two crits and a hit, so Two you have uh, three four up saves. Uh, I do have three four up saves. Can't retain I'm, any because I have a good cover. Yeah, I'm not within 
blue of her so I don't get to auto save one. Yep. Uh, so four up saves. And I pass one. Um, what's the damage on it? It's three four. Three isn't four. It? So I'd need to. Uh, I'm not going to be able to survive it because I can't no, I change. No, she's dead. I can't change. I can. Well, I can spend faith points for rerolls, uh, and I can also faith point one of them into a. No, you can only use one. You can't use them no, both. The reroll is the exception. Is that yes? It says it can be used with other acts of faith. Um, it can be used multiple times. So. Faithful Blessing, uh, attack dice or roll defense dice step, reroll one of your dice. Act of faith can be used more than once in each activation, can be used with other acts of faith. Okay, fights. yeah, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two faith points to reroll my two fails. Oh, so you can only reroll one? Uh, no, you can reroll it, use it multiple times, more than once in each activation. Okay, yeah. So I can use it multiple times in activation. Wow. This is... uh, so I spent two to reroll two dice. Yeah. I'm then going to spend two more to turn one of them into a critical save. So you have... So I have a save yep. and a crit save, which means I take one hit. So I'm going to take one crit, sorry, which is four. four damage. So she's wounded, but she's not dead. And I'm down to four faith points. Oh, that's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, the faith points are the real clincher. Uh, well, because you don't lose any, so they're just kind of... Well, you, you generate, yeah, you generate three every turn and possibly six. Okay, so I activate my sniper. Yep. Uh, hang on, how are you? Oh, yeah, so you're doing your first actual activation. Yes, yeah, so he will... Uh, Slap my faith point, lady. <laughs> so he, what he will do is... Yeah, he'll switch to engage. He'll claim that, so that's gone. Yep. And then he will shoot into that. Yep, so he's going to shoot my faith point, lady. Uh, he, yes, because I have He gets the extra one mark light focus, so he counts as three. So, so yes. I count on twos, re-rolling yep. one with ignore cover, lethal five up, I'm using my mark around. Your normal round, you mean? But... Uh, you're dead. Three crits. Yeah, I can't save against that. So, and you now can't uh, claim that point. Uh, this turn, anyway. Uh, your turn to activate. Yes. So the Patronus, or yeah, Pronatus even can perform mission action for free. So she can go and claim that. Who? Uh, the lady with the mace. Oh, uh, are you serious? Oh no, so, no. Sorry, that was the no, that was the relic one. Sorry, I got yeah. that wrong. So, uh, no, you're no, she's defense dice, so yeah. she can do something else. Uh, so you can't claim that, cool. yeah, because I'll be out of range. Uh, this turn at least. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna activate the condemner. Yep, uh, I have plus one AP, so I've got three AP. First AP will be to score the point. Yep, uh, the second AP will be to move over, so I'm still behind cover of his base. So she's gonna shoot. This guy, uh, she has four dice on threes. Do I want to spend my command point? Uh, I will. I'm going to spend the command point for her tactical op, which allows her to reroll. Well, I, well, I do it after I actually fire. So, okay. Uh, so she hits on threes. She's got two misses. I'm going to spend the command point. So you're down uh, to she, zero? I'm down to zero command points. She can reroll her two dice into a crit and a hit. Um, no. uh, sorry, a crit and a, a hit and a miss, sorry. Um, what do I want to do? Do I want to do two more wounds? Yeah. So she's going to spend three faith points yeah. to turn one of her hits into a crit. So I have crit, hit, hit, which gives piercing one and mortal wounds two. So you take two mortal wounds. Okay. And then you've got to save crit, hit, hit. Uh, so I need crits. It's dead. Uh, uh, that's her done. So I will activate. So I'll move within run one of this with my leader. Can you do that for free? I don't think he can. No. Uh, if he hadn't you, if the other guy hadn't used the thing for the yep. mission action, he could have. He's done. Your turn. Uh, my turn. Uh, I mean, we'll we'll try and go for it. So my duelist is going to charge your uh, leader. Yep. The duelist has four dice on twos. Uh, threes. You're injured. Uh, threes. Yes, I'm injured. Uh, she doesn't ignore. Being injured. Uh, she does have lethal five plus, so that is two crits and a hit. So I'm hitting on fours, uh, rerolling. Are you hitting three? Bonding knife. Hitting on fours, rerolling one with balanced. Uh, okay. Sure. Two crits. Okay. So well, I will hit me for four. I'll strike with a, I'll strike with a crit, which does four, and then I'll crit you back and kill you. Yeah, which parries that. You crit me back and kill me, but you've taken four. 
I get a, because she had the equipment, when she strikes with a critical hit, I get a faith point. Cool. So I'm on two faith points. Um, but that's him down, uh, how many was he taken? Four, Four left. left. Oh, he starts with eight, doesn't he? Yes. Uh, so then, I'll activate my gunner. Yep, with the right, uh, the ion rifle. He'll overcharge, no rerolls. Yep. So there's five dice hitting on fours. If I obliterate her, that's a good thing for me. Yeah. So you can go. Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I have to activate him. So he'll activate and he will shoot the banner burner. Yep. Overcharging, five dice hitting on fours. Ones will do mortal wounds, but I do five slash six with. Pierce AP. one. Uh, with AP, AP one. one. Yeah. There we go. So, four, four hits. hits. Two up saves, uh, uh, two four up saves, sorry. Uh, yeah, two four up saves, uh, four hits, and it does um, five on each of them, so yep. I can't actually, I can't defend. Nope, so you're dead. Uh, yeah. Cool. And then, so he'll dash. Because What's the range of Reap? Uh, reap, is, reap is two inches from the model, I believe. Oh, no, it's try it's black triangle one, one inch. Yeah, so he'll just effectively dash there. Mm-hmm. Because he's still contesting that point. Yeah. Your turn. Yeah, unfortunately, if I wasn't Oh no, you do two three for your melee damage, don't you? Two three. In fact, actually what I'll do is um I'll spend a point to claim this point. Yep. And then I'll just charge you. And I'll just charge. Cool. Uh, I'll switch to engage. Okay. How many of there are you left? Uh two. Yeah. Oh, two. So it's, we're equal, so nobody's getting any other watch shots. You don't have enough Markalite tokens left to score the Markalite point. I only need to Markalite two of them. No, uh, uh, oh yeah, half. Uh, Let me double check that. Yeah, it's... It might be you have to Markalite a minimum of three. Uh, if at least half the enemy officers in the kit, rounding down a minimum of three of them. You've got to do a minimum of three of them. Okay, that's so, fine. Yeah, you round down, but a minimum of three. So, it's for custodies if they only have four models. Yeah. You can't just go, oh, I'm going two guys up. I will. He's going to move up. Yep. And give plus one APL to your sniper. Yep. Your turn. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, It'd be more than two from heavy. Yeah, no, I, was, I wasn't sure if it was positioned where there was a... If this bit wasn't here, yep. I could see him. Oh yeah, of um, course. Without moving. Yes. Um, yeah, like there was almost this perfect angle I could have shot him through there. Yeah, so we're going to activate the uh, Dialogus. She's going to give my Condemner a plus one AP again. Cool. Uh, she's going to conceal, and then she's going to move over this way. Cool. Uh, my she's last done. activation, I'm going to move and dash with my, my Blooded Pathfinder. Uh, yep. And claim the point. Yep, to the point and then claim it. She's done. Yeah, so we're just going to activate um, the Mace Lady. She is going to move and dash into the corner here. Okay. End of the turning point, you score one more for hold the line. Yep, so I fully score hold the line. Uh, I don't score my faction tack up. Neither uh, do I. Uh, so here we go into the new round. Ready everybody. I generate three um, faith points. Oh, one command point. And one command point, yep. So both on one command point, I'm on five faith points. And uh, then we roll off. Four, five. five. Uh, I will take the initiative. Yep. Um, and then I will use uh, my strategic ploy. You don't have enough CP for it. It's too oh, too easy. Easy. Yeah, it depends on the face. Damn, I can't use that. I should have held on to one extra one for that. Uh, I won't do anything then. So I won't spend any command points. Any, none for me. So tack ops. Uh, we're all revealed. So. Okay, so start with the fight fight phase. I am obviously going to spend a command point to immediately activate someone. I will um, activate my leader because he's hitting on fives, mm -hmm. hitting on fours. Uh, it's within two. Because uh, if I kill this, you 
basically are denied two tackle points. Yeah. Oh, I don't even have to charge you. No, you can just shoot me. Oh, no, you no, you can't shoot me because I'm in combat. You'd have to fall back with that guy. So let's see. There's two points left. Yeah, there's two points left to get. You can get to that point. Because, again, if I'd, if I'd run onto that point, you would have just shot me. Yes. Um, I'll activate my drone controller. Yep. Still concealed. Mm -hmm. He'll put two marker light tokens on... Two yeah. Mark tokens there. Then I activate the drone. He was yeah. just going to move down. Yeah. And perform mission action. Perform mission action to claim this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll stay engaged. Your turn. My turn. Activate our crossbow lady over here. Yep. Our condemner. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So uh, we're going to move round to here. Yep. She's going to shoot you, so her first action is move, second action is going to be to shoot your guy in the open. Yep. Wow. Uh, that's pretty bad. Well, she's got a, uh, she's got one hit so far. Uh, I've got a bunch of faith points. So let's spend two faith points to reroll two of my dice into double crits. So she gets PS1 and more wounds too. Um... Uh, well, you could no. Uh, oh yeah, no. You only got two saves. Absolutely. Well, no. If you roll double crit, no, it's no, because like, no, because that won't two damage. So you, so that does five with the more wounds two kills you. It's broken. You can use the rerolls, multiple rerolls on a single roll. That's ridiculous. Well, it says you can use this multiple times. Oh per no, activation. I, no, it is. No, so that's yeah. that's what I'm. If you didn't gain so many faith points, it would be fine. Well, you you have now killed the person who generates me more. So yes, at the end of the game. Like, it, it's, it's good, but it's overtuned. Um, uh, so uh, then my last action will be to dash back yep. behind here. I'm going to activate my leader. Mm -hmm. Risk it for a biscuit. Switch to conceal. Oh. Go to there. Well, go to conceal. Tag a marker light token onto that. Yep. And let's move around here. Sure. Uh, it's with, Reap is black, isn't it? Reap is black, yes. Uh, one inch. So as long as you stay away from one inch, you won't take a mortal wound. I'll do her. Um, so she is engaged. She's going to attack your. Um, yep. Attack your guy. Um, so uh, she is four dice hitting on. Oh, five. Because she only hits on four with it. Yeah. So she's on five. Five rolling everything. Uh, yep. I uh, get two crits and two rerolls. Three crits. So I will die uh, with a crit and a hit. So you've got a crit and a hit. You only have two, three damage. Yep. So I will parry your crit. I'll hit you for two, so you got one wound left. Um, and then die. And then I crit, crit. And so yeah, I go down to one wound. Um, got one action point left. Yeah, got one action point left, um, which might as well just be to charge you because cool. you're already gone. It just means nothing nice. can happen. Perfect. Um, but I do score protect assets because I killed a guy here and killed a guy within two of that one. Yep. So I score a point of protect assets. Activate him to mark a light you and yep. score me mark a light. Yeah, because you have marked three people. Unless you decide to kill one of them, which you can't do because they're all concealed. Um, and he's got one action point left. Yeah. Just going to... Pass, I'm assuming. Pass. Uh, I'm just going to slide over, claim the objective. Cool. So uh, give me another point. And your rail rifle's got no targets. Yeah, so he'll pass. And I will... Oh, actually, hold on. Uh, can he... I need to get away from it. Uh, so yeah, he'll just pass. Well, actually, well, he'll why were you on. measuring from the centre of the board? Because I need to get over it for overrun. Oh, is it over the... Uh, oh, it's quarters, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you've got one, two, three quarters. Yep. Um, yeah, and it's more than three from the centre. Yeah, I feel about that. Oh, well. Uh, and then she will pass and pass cool. because she can't do anything really. Because is it just you've got to be in them? You can't stop it, is No, you can't stop them. For any objects. You have to kill them to stop them. Yeah. Uh, oh, you do this in, during turning points, John. At the end of any turning point, if you've got an operative in each quarter, it's not the end of the game because you can score it once in each turn. Oh, I don't know that. So last, uh, you've got to have them in every quarter, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, but so I, that's it. I win by two. So, yeah. Um, 
Because you don't control... I, I don't control that. that one, yeah. I um, Yeah, a little couple of mess-ups in places. If I'd done the ordering right on the first turn, I could have claimed that one as well, and I would have switched... Your point. Chainsword Lady should have been dead because I forgot about vantage points. Yes, but twice. Um, it, didn't, it didn't matter too much there, but that would have completely allowed me to own this oh, flank. Yeah, but again, also, if I'd done the ordering right, I would have given her an extra APL. She would have moved dash claimed so i would have had one more ap there and there's things that we did wrong but yeah. it's playing with a new kill team and playing with the new i think punishing punishing, punishing advantage points is they're okay um you've just got to really remember that you're on it to use it uh you also weren't getting the most effect out of your because you could activate your drone control with your free move at the start of the turn activate the drone and then the drone could activate somebody else who's within three of him i think it is yeah, but um, the, there was so, no point of him touching the ground. No, no, no. But what I mean is you could have been activating three models before I oh, even activated I one in a turn. Yeah, but there was there was um, no point with all this heavy terrain. Oh, no, yeah. On on maybe, say, a, an Octarius board or a board that has more light terrain, that, like, activating three models before I can even activate one and possibly even activating four models before I activate one is huge. Yeah, I don't that like... Also, that also gives you four downs. So that brings your team down to... Five more, uh, no, six more models, meaning you'll probably get Overwatch shots as well. No, I wouldn't. This is better than the Compendium, but it's like the the issue is all the heavy terrain. If this was, oh, yeah, not, yeah. if there was light terrain, this would have been a fine matchup. Oh, I probably would have been utterly blown away in the first couple of rounds. If yeah, been, I really, if there'd been vantage point in light terrain, you would have just been markering people up and killing them. Because like, I get why they did a board of all heavy. My only problem is you couldn't do a game of all light with vantage points because then the vantage no, no, points you, would be unstoppable. No, you need to mix and match light and heavy terrain. But yeah, because I don't, I don't feel the the reason like the, your your guys survived so long was well, for the heavy. Turn terrain. one was concealment. I you didn't you couldn't shoot me turn one because you ignored vantage points because you're behind heavy. Yeah, yeah. Turn two again, it was mostly concealed with a couple of engages, and you were killing people as they were revealing themselves. Well, because I, I think you need like four, three to four heavy pieces on a board, but when you've got eight of them... Oh, yeah. When the entire board is nothing but heavy terrain, it's highly polarised against a shooting team. Because just because of the way the angling works, you have to go so much further round to get an angle on somebody who's behind heavy terrain. Yeah, mm. I mean, kill team-wise, I think they're actually fine. The Tau have the problem. Like, I had to suicide onto the point to get points. Yeah. Which but was... if, you, if you were if you were against another shooting team, that's not so terrible because well, no one really runs apart from Admech. No one really well, runs Admech, shooting guard, team. Um, Drakari, Elder team. So there's, a, there's a few shooting teams, but no, Drakari them... are shooting a melee. Yeah, well, it depends on if they take witches or not. Some people, some people say witches aren't that good. Others say they are. That's... Well, it's like the interesting thing is, I feel what do you call it? Mark lights are really well balanced. Even yeah, though they stick around. Mark, Mark lights are really good because you either you either end up putting them on somebody and then you kill the person and they will disappear, or you put like two or three on somebody and then they go down to two next turn, then mm. you can put another one on them. I feel um, faith points are ridiculous though. Faith points are pretty strong. Um well, giving, the giving you access to near unlimited rerolls to turn a miss into a hit. No, the, 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 the biggest thing is crit. you can guarantee dice which breaks yeah. the game. Like but, in Age of Sigma well, you, you have Zeke. You can't do you can't do both the hit and the crit one in the same action. Oh, but the problem is the ability um, to guarantee. Oh, the, yeah, the ability is made. Like that's why I was like, oh, okay, my crossbow lady. I need to get a crit. I'll spend the three faith points, get a crit. She now does more wounds and pierce. So if I mean, faith I, points didn't carry think... over, I think they would be absolutely fine. The fact you can like at the end of the game, you still had like what eight faith three, points, no, three. three left. But if um, I didn't kill your Patronus, like I could only kill her by the end of turning. By turning. Yeah, three. like if if you can get the uh, the yeah the. Patronus uh, to an objective and she's in cover or heavy cover preferably she'll just sit there giving you three AP again uh, three uh, fate points a turn like you for this kind of mechanic you even need the pool to wipe at the end of every turn or <sighs> she can't give you plus three every turn it's ridiculous yeah I, I mean it's because you're your sniper lady like oh, your she's, sniper, she she's, deleted any she would delete anything she shot up she's good studies. she is Really, really good. Well, no, if uh, if you if I was shooting a, a space marine, I'm not. I'm maybe maybe not killing a space marine. You are with the mortal wounds. Uh, well, if I roll multiple crits, but like on that last one where I had a crit or oh, two was it two crit no one crit and two hits uh, versus space marine. I'm only doing damage profile? two three. And your mortal wounds is. Two. 
But then you can change another crit into a crit. So, that so if, if, I, if I if I don't have any crits, I've got to spend for a crit. If I do have a crit, I could get another crit. I'm still not guaranteed killing a space marine, but I'm probably killing a sis, uh, probably killing a Tau, an Eldar, even an orc. A you would kill a ten wound model easily. Uh, in one hit. Fifty. An orc is fifty fifty because you could always just shrug it off. So, oh, it's a, it's a scratch. So but the, the problem is, you I'm can, saying she is strong. Really, oh, she's no, no, like no, no. I, her. The um, the faith point lady, um, the duelist is pretty good. There's some really standout ones from the list. Also, the fact that you've got two people who can give plus one APL in the list is pretty strong. Well, like the problem I have is you can guarantee dice, and if you didn't have such an easy big pool, it would be fine. Yeah. Like I think the way like well, again, I'm worried about how broken these faith. Again, you have are. to not basically spend any turn. If you don't spend any turn one, you're going to turn two with nine. The moment yes, you activate her, you, you get another three. Well, no, you, you have nine. You have to do an action first to get nine. Let's get another three. Yes, but you're generally doing missions anyway. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. the problem is you can use multiple rerolls on a single roll. I didn't even know yeah. you could do that. The fact well, you can reroll three dice or whatever. Well, I could, I could reroll changes. all the dice if I need to. But so that's just crazy. No this act of faith can be used more than once in each activation and can be used with, each, uh, with other acts of faith. So. Yeah, it's it's um, like, and you can also use it with the command point reroll. You can't reroll a reroll as normal, but you could also command point one dice if you wanted to, then spend faith points to reroll other dice. Well, it's like so. The thing is, the reason I, I feel it's so strong is because in Age of Sigma you have Zinch, who effectively do a very similar thing where they roll nine dice at the start of the game, and you, those rolls you can uh, add to the start. And what would have actually been even worse for you, John, if I'd remembered, is I can, when I activate, spend two faith points, get D3 wounds back. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, like, the, the main problem is your pool is so big, and it's... Yeah, it is, if, if you can keep your Patronus Lady alive, you're getting, you're, six, a turn. You're getting six a turn. This but is... it's very quick. Like, if I do the crit thing twice, that's six points gone. So that's yeah, my points for the turn. deleting stuff. I am, but if I don't kill you, and if I spend it and I don't kill you, like, you go, fine, I'll roll my dice. Oh, triple triple save on your defense. Triple crit save. Well, it's weird, because like, I find the Markalites seem really well-tuned. Like, there's... Yeah. There's the, nothing ever felt too broken, even with the double commanding. Like, because if I didn't do that, I think I would have lost the game. Because oh, I wouldn't you, have been able to contest the point. Yeah. And even uh, then, with the moves I was doing with the immediately activate, it was basically suicide moves, unless it was the drone. Well, no, you, you, you generally activated your drone first, and your drone... Like your drone controller, then your drone. So he was either claiming a point, mark lighting somebody, activating the drone, the drone that was shooting somebody. I think what actually really hurt you was just your drone's poor rolls. Like he Kinda. rolled, he rolled like two, one to two hits out of his six dice with re rolls. I mean, I think that's fine because of the volume of shooting they pump out. Oh yeah, but like unfortunately, you were just not getting the rolls you needed. Like if he'd hit half better than he had. Um, he would have been a lot more lethal. Yeah, I think... Like, I don't know. It's like, what what we need to do is test... Because uh, the, the problem I find is kill teams that are released together are balanced against each other, but then mm. the problem is when they go up against other kill teams, they become far too they strong. They can be too strong or too weak. Yeah, so I'm, like... I think this matchup is really balanced, especially with the board. Yeah, if we had, if we had uh, say, like, these walls were not heavy walls and were light would balance out a lot of things. Yeah, um, and I think, yeah, if... It would then suddenly actually make the vantage points useful for something. Yeah, because on this um, kind of board where punishing vantage points are designed for, they're actually not that good because they're only... Yeah, unless you've unless you've got a perfect line of sight to somebody, it, it still does nothing because it's all heavy terrain, and if you're concealed in heavy terrain, you can't be shot, and if you're beyond two inches of the heavy terrain, you're obscured. Yeah. And Tau do have ways to get around obscuring by giving you four Markalites, but they've still got to then give four Markalite tokens out, then they've got to shoot you, and you've got to be obscured. Um, yeah, because this is, I think, the toughest mission for the Tau, and with Recon, I couldn't, like... And unfortunately, I couldn't your, your, drone, your drone died, like... Well, because you guaranteed its death with dice I can't control. Yeah. Um, but, like, the problem is, if you want to get into your opponent's face... Like, because you can't activate Recon at the start... I mean, Art of War at the start of your turning point, you're using an activation to activate your leader to activate Art of War. Yeah, Art of War maybe should have been um, just a 
Tau special rule that at, yeah, the, like start, at the start of the firefight phase... Strategic phase. Yeah, yeah. Uh, strategic, maybe. Strategic or firefight, whichever like, way around. It's powerful effects, but the problem is you have to activate and like you actually don't want to activate your leader. Leader's actually pretty useless. Uh, no, he's got... He, he hits on threes with his pulse carbine, which is very good. Um, because if the opponent, if the model has three mark light tokens, he suddenly hits on a two with a reroll. Yeah. Um, and the strength of the mark light, uh, the strength of the pulse carbine being four or five damage, just really, if you can get like a bead on a target, you've got a good chance of killing people. Like, you hardly used your pulse carbines. You only used your silent one. It was mostly your rail rifle and your iron rifle that were doing the damage and the the drone. Yeah, um, it's like it's interesting. Like, I mean, I would more just put that down to try. You were trying to do the mission and your attack ops, um, and you were like, "Well, I don't need to. I don't need to kill you because that doesn't that doesn't further my mission killing you." Kind of. Well, it's like yeah. So that's the problem. I like. Well, I got to a point where I was like, "Oh, so Marco Lighty and I think what I'd probably did like the Grenadier was really good in this matchup. Oh, yeah, Grenadier. I. I th this is why I think. You should always take the Grenadier. No, you, that's not what you originally said. Well, no, I, always, I said you should originally take him because he's he's got grenades. Uh, my um, my Scrambler was really good. I yeah, think minus Scrambler, one APL was good. He messed up a lot of people even though he died. Well, you um, you minus one APL yeah, on my that, leader. Yeah, so stop that charge. Wait, I, I, stop I, that charge what I probably, What I put of what I actually done is just um, shot with a plasma pistol. Yeah. Uh, instead of charging you, I would have claimed the point, shot with a plasma pistol. Uh, still would have been able to activate a second model. Yeah, I think the only the weakest ones were actually my iron rifles. One did really well. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd probably drop one to take in this kind of matchup to take another marker drone. Maybe. Uh, yeah, in this in this matchup where you're evenly matched, you maybe want the extra marker tokens. The only problem is the marker um, drone just does mark. Well, it's stuff. it's concealed and marks things. Um, but it can it always count it counts as one AP for contesting objectives. So it can it can help you to defend versus objectives yeah. if they've got two APL. Um what I'll probably do is just Yeah, I want to see how the Tau do against uh, what the Pathfinders do against another kill team. Yeah, I mean I think like we've said, versus elite kill teams. They will destroy them. They will shred them. Just I can't see elite kill teams surviving anymore with the Tau. Unless there's unless there's like this board. Lots of heavy terrain for them to hide behind. Yeah. Uh, and the elite kill team can get in your face. Because um, you can... Like, the the problem is you're deleting a Custodia turn. I also think being stuck with only Recon as your only um, Decker, your only uh, archetype. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, could, would have, like, even Infiltrate or ser uh, Search and Destroy been bad? Uh, give them. Infiltration or Seek and Destroy. I think Infiltration would have been better. Yeah. Because then you can just... Like, if you have a drone to do mission actions... It's weird. I don't know. I don't think they do I Recon think, well. They I think you have to get really good at Recon. The, yeah, yeah, the problem with Recon is you have to play it, and then it's like, to get... Oh, triangle. I don't think you were ever going to be able to get triangulate. I can. Every turning point, I can do uh, my strategic point to dash. Yeah, but you've got to be within... You got you got to stay yeah. within red of an edge. So you could have got three dashes up the board essentially, but then you're just pushing towards your opponent. And if it's one of those ones, you're you're possibly and like if you're only doing it with one or two guys, and I just take these guys out. Yeah. The thing triangulate on this board setup triangulate is well, it's difficult. It's even more difficult in lengthways. It's easiest on the corner deployments. I think I would only generally take triangulate when you're doing corner deployments. Why? Well, because this one's your edge. So, uh, no, I think that one is your edge. Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah. So you got left, yeah, top and bottom. The, yeah, this is your edge in corner deployments. So you can easily get this one first turn. It's relatively easy to get that second turn. And if you have, like, your drone deployment strategy, mm. you can get your... that. You can even get that edge the first turn with the drone controller because he then can do yeah. mission actions. Yeah, so it's like, I think the tower actually fairly balanced. They make yeah. you... They may kill, but at the cost of the mission, which I think yes. is very uh, that, tower. That's why probably they haven't been given anything other than uh, recon. Yeah, because like it's you. You either do your recon objectives, or you kill your opponent, and you kind of can't do, unless you're against an elite kill team. You can't do both. Well, yeah, because the thing is, like, you have to suicide onto the points. Hmm. You do have the bodies for it, but it's like. I mean, sisters have got security and recon and. Security was a no-brainer to take. It's 
we've, we've said this before, it's one of the better... That's the best tackle. archetype. Yeah. It's the best archetype. Like, there was no way I could actually stop you doing Hold the Line. Um, yeah, I I didn't think you'd be able to get to... When you did actually have um, Triangulate, though, I thought, oh, well, you might you might just run somebody over here to deny me and try and score it. can do it with a drone, but... But you're then leaving that drone to basically die. Yeah, it's it's tough. But I think overall it was balanced. I think yeah. more so the terrain was the problem than the rules. Yes, yeah. Uh, faith dice are incredibly strong, and both faith powers... Yeah, if, if you're if too you're, strong, if I you're think. against sisters, you need to kill the faith point generator first if you can. Because if you can't, you know, you, the, the sister stuff is just going to delete stuff in combat, especially like. So you uh, could well her being able to guarantee. Well, she gets re rolls, and then you can turn a hit to a crit, so she'll do six damage. Yeah, um, yeah. Like the thing is, if you did it before rolling dice, I would go, that's not so bad. But you roll dice, then change them. Which is really strong. Well, that's how rerolls. Well, it's how rerolls and all dice changing powers work. Generally. Not, not in Age of Sigmar. Yeah. Uh, you do it before you roll because there's like. Yeah, it's also it's also the opposite of doing defense dice, where you go, well, I'll retain dice for cover. I, th- yeah. I think punching vantage point again should be the other way. If you can, like, turn a miss to a hit. Kind of. If punching vantage point was turn a miss to a hit, it would be make more sense rather than retain a dice as I hit. Because you've got to remember, right, hang on, punishing vantage point, put that dice aside. Um, whereas you're like, okay, well, I've already got re-rolls. I've got a marker like re-roll. And then you've got to remember, right, well, put one aside. Now I'm rolling five dice with ceaseless and a re-roll. Yeah. Um, I do think, like, because what you could have done is given your penitent a turn one. Well, you're going to do a turn one charge. Uh, uh, no, because you, you were nowhere nearby. Yeah, um, but I think that was fine. Like I said, it was just the board, but uh, thank you for playing. Hope yeah, you had fun. So. Thanks for having us. Uh, we just need to explore out. But um, until next time, please remember to like and subscribe as well as comment. I'll edit this batter up down, but it's going to be long, unfortunately. Uh, and then, yeah, next time I'll be doing up painted up kill teams because I'm only doing this. So, yeah, until next time, keep rolling crits.